Welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers. And in this video, we're going to be solving a quartic equation. We have z to the fourth power plus z cubed plus 2z squared plus z equals negative 1. And we're going to be solving for z values. And we're going to find all the solutions, even though this is a quartic equation because this is a special quartic. Should I be using the quartic formula? No, that's going to be too hard. Instead of that, I'm going to be using two different methods. Obviously, the quartic formula could be the third method in this case. So let's start with the first method. Now, one thing I want you to notice about this equation is that it's a symmetric polynomial. Wait a minute. How do you know that, right? Let's put everything on the same side first. So I'm adding one to both sides and I get a nice polynomial. If you look at the, this polynomial, there is a center and 2z squared is in the middle. And if you look at the terms that are the same distance from the center, they have the same coefficients. Like z cubed and z have the same, z to the fourth and one have the same coefficients, which is nice, which makes this polynomial symmetric. And symmetric polynomials are easy to solve. I believe at some point I made a octic equation in my main channel. Anyways, that's a different story, a long story. You probably know that. Now, let's go ahead and see how we can solve this using the fact that this is symmetric. I'm going to divide everything by z squared. Divide by z squared, which is in the middle, all right? So if you divide z to the fourth by z squared, you're going to get z squared. If you divide z cubed by z squared, you're going to get z plus 2z z squared divided by z squared is 2. And then if you divide z by z squared, you're going to get 1 over z. If you divide 1 by z squared, you're going to get 1 over z squared. This kind of turns the polynomial into a rational equation, but a good rational equation. Because if you look at this carefully, z squared is going to pair up with 1 over z squared. And then z is going to pair up with 1 over z. And 2 is going to be lonely, too bad, but that's okay. It's a constant, so what can you do? Now, we're going to be manipulating this a little bit more because manipulation is fun if you manipulate expressions, of course. z squared plus 1 over z squared is something that is connected to z plus 1 over z. How? If you square z plus 1 over z, you get z squared plus 1 over z squared plus 2ab, 2 times z times 1 over z, which is... Two, right? So I'm going to just write a 2 there and kind of memorize it in that pattern because this comes up a lot, especially if you're doing math competitions and at some point, hopefully, math olympiads, yay, then you should definitely know these identities. So from here, I can go ahead and isolate this and write it as this squared minus 2. So let's take it, out, take it up from there. This is z plus 1 over z squared minus 2 plus z plus 1 over z plus 2 equals 0. Awesome, because negative 2 and positive 2 cancel out. And we're going to use an awesome method, which is called substitution. Let's go ahead and call this t, shall we? And now this is t squared plus t equals 0. Oh, man, this is such an easy equation to solve, right? It's too good to be true. Take out a t, and now you got t equals 0 and t equals negative 1. But what is t? z plus 1 over z. Do you remember that? In a recent video, we talked about z minus 1 over z, but this is z plus 1 over z. Similar. Anyways, if z plus 1 over z is 0, what do you get from here? Do you think that's a real number? No, we're not dealing with real numbers, or sometimes we are. But in this case, you get z squared plus 1 equals 0, which means z squared is negative 1. Uh-oh, we recognize this, right? This is the special number i, the imaginary unit, but it can also be the minus i. So there are two solutions, plus minus i. Okay, that's the one of the equations. Now let's go ahead and solve t equals negative 1. Remember, t is z plus 1 over z. If that equals negative 1, multiply everything by z. So now put everything on the same side. Uh-oh, you should recognize this. This is a special equation again. Let's just use it solving, um, solve it with the quadratic formula. Pretend we don't know what it is. Negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. This is what you're going to get. 
wait a minute, th these numbers look familiar, don't they? Well, if you write them separately, hopefully that'll make more sense. One of them is negative one half plus root three over two i, and the other one is negative one half minus root three over two i. Are you thinking trigonometry? If you are, then you're on the right path. And yes, these numbers are the cube roots of one. Cube roots of one. Why? Because if you think about it, you'll find why. Z squared plus Z plus one equals zero, right? Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by Z minus one. Of course, the result is still gonna be zero, but we introduced an extra extraneous solution. So Z should not equal one because originally it doesn't satisfy the equation, right? Look at this, Z equals one is a solution? No. So under these conditions, we can multiply, but wait a minute, this is a formula for difference of two cubes. And yes, I get Z cubed equals one, which means I'm dealing with cube roots of one. But one is not gonna count, so we're looking at the other non-real cube roots of one. Make sense? So those are the two solutions, and we have a total of four solutions. And wait a minute, are we supposed to get four solutions? Yes, because this is a cortic. Let me copy those here so you can see them all together at the same time. Here we go, four solutions. Awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second method and then see if we can find the third method. I think that's gonna be your task. Second method. Now, like I told you earlier, remember, this, I, I told you this is a special equation. Not just it's symmetrical, but it's also in special in a different way. Maybe because it's symmetrical, it's special, I don't know. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna split up the two z squared, two z or not two z. So I'm gonna write this as z to the fourth plus z cubed plus z squared plus z squared, let's put some distance between them, plus one, and then this is equal to zero, but get wait, wait a minute. I can kind of separate these, and let's just move the plus sign here, and yes, this is factorable by grouping. There's no common factor, so I'm just gonna put a one underneath, but this one, I mean in the front, this one is gonna have z squared, z squared plus z plus one, are you serious? plus one times z squared plus z plus one, and that is equal to zero. And then I can kind of factor out a common factor, z squared plus z plus one, and then z squared plus one equals zero. And from here, we're gonna get the exact same solutions, right? From here, we get z equals negative one half plus minus root three over two. I remember these are the cube roots of one. And from here, we're gonna get z equals plus minus i. And that gives us a total of four solutions because this is a quartic. Question, could we multiply both sides of this equation by something? Because remember, if you have an equation like this, you can definitely use the geometric series formula. But can we use it for this one? Or is there another solution? But let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, shall we? The graph is really nice. Look at this. There is no intersection points. Is that a surprise? Of course, there are no real roots. And this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care. Keep watching videos. And bye-bye.